Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to connect our local repository to a remote repository so that we can push these changes up to a separate location. That way we could work with multiple people, we could you know, connect in with a different machine and grab the updated changes from our remote. And the reason I'm remaking this video, you might have seen an older version, Recently, GitHub changed their policies so that they're requiring a more secure connection and it kind of changes our process for setting this up. So if you're new to this, then totally fine, just follow along. But if you've done this before, I recommend making sure that you're you know, set up with the new process and make sure that you understand how things have changed. So uh, with that, let's get to it. So the idea here is that GitHub no longer allows you to connect in with a less secure connection. So before, you know, the previous way to do this would be to copy a, an HTTP link and just paste it in to get Kraken. And then you could just work like that. And it's a username, password, and it's fine. But the new method is to use something called an SSH key. And the way to do that, if, if we think of concept here, is locally on our machine, we're going to keep track of a file that's going to be our key. And then we're also going to have a uh, code that acts as a lock. And we can take this lock and we can tie it to our GitHub account. So now if we try to make changes on our on our local Git Kraken and we want to connect into our remote repository, we can have our SSH private key, which is, again is a file on our computer, and we can use that to connect in with the lock that we designate on our a GitHub account. This may seem a little bit complicated and you're not wrong, but the easiest way to think about it is that if you go into your profile on your GitHub account, if you have not made one already, you, you should make a GitHub account if this is your first time. Once you have that made and you have it you know, set up and authenticated and whatnot, you go to your settings. And if you go down to SSH keys right here, it, maybe this changes at some point, I don't, I don't really know, but at some point you should see either SSH or authentication or something like that. And you can see all of the SSH keys that you have tied to your account. So you can see here that with a new account, we wouldn't really have any. So I'm going to show you how to set one up. Uh, and again, this is just creating a connection between our local and instead of Kraken and our remote, which we need to make sure that we have a sec secure connection. And then we can, you know, set up the actual connecting and pushing our, our data up. So to do this, there's many ways to do it. We can generate it and we can save out the files and we can add it here. That's one way to do it. You know, I would say there's extra steps here. I'm gonna show you the easiest possible way to do this. Inside of Git Kraken, um, it can do a lot of the extra steps for us. So if we go to File, Preferences, and we go down to Integrations, then you can see here, we can connect automatically with a lot of uh, remote repository companies and um, you know clients here. Since we're using GitHub and that's how I'm showing you how to do the tutorial, I'll just show you how to do it here. Now you can see that I already have my account tied here. I just disconnected from it. This screen may, be, may look a little bit different for you, but in some way or another, it will ask you to connect to a GitHub account. So you will need to do that. I'm going to disconnect like that and just show you. If I were to connect to GitHub, and then again, yours may look a little bit different, it's going to attempt to log in and then it's going to say, authorize Git Kraken. I'm going to say, yes, authorized. Okay, great. And once I have done that, then your screen will look like this. So now what I can do is I can take the SSH key that's on my machine right here and if I hover over, you can see that it's not found on GitHub. So what I can do is I can just add this to GitHub. Add it to GitHub. I could generate a new one and do that too if I wanted, but let's just go over to GitHub and take a look. Close it out. Close it out. And if we refresh, you can see that we just added this key. So this is what allows us to to make the connection. So so SSH is basically a more secure connection. And so now that we have our local key, and, and you know, if I wanted to find where this was, if I clicked uh, browse for private key, it'll open up wherever it is creating this. So if you wanted to investigate other methods for, you know, using the same key and moving them around, you could, you could do that. But this is just very automatic. You just 
connect in with GitHub and you know, you can just connect it right there and it automatically talks to your account and puts it up there. Or you can add it manually and you could browse for it or, or whatever. There's lots of different ways to do this. And I'm just showing you the most straightforward one. So now that we have this here, we know that we'll be authenticated to make the connection. 